Is anyone just a bit terrified by the possible prospect of losing more rights and opportunities? Ever since Roe v. Wade was overturned, is anyone else scared of losing more agency, autonomy, and opportunities? Because to me, a lot of what we have now is actually very recent in terms of history, like to be able to vote, and to be financially independent and participate in the workforce, even now in fields dominated by men. And is anyone terrified by where we are headed politically, like the rise in extremism and fascism? Like to me, it really feels like any significant stressor in our political environment could push us out of the public sphere back into traditional roles. Puts me on edge. Edit earned the beloved Reddit Cares message. Don't see how that does anything of significance, but thanks I guess. I worry for all the young women in the USA. It's really weird to have seen abortion legalized in my lifetime, and then watching those rights slowly be stripped away, state by state in part of the country. I had more rights than my mother or grandmother, and now, I will have had more rights than my nieces. I worry that some states will eventually start prosecuting women who have had an abortion for murder, for which there is not statute of limitations, and that their bounty hunter approach would mean I never visit family in those states again. I've already seen a lot of men saying that all modern problems are caused by women having too many rights, so yeah, I'm pretty scared of what will happen next. Definitely. In Florida, they are trying to pass a law that prevents any talk about periods before sixth grade. Which is ridiculous. The cynical and realistic part of me thinks this world is attempting a speedrun into chaos. The slightly hopeful part is like hey maybe the world's learned from its mistakes. And the reasoning in the Roe v. Wade decision was horrifyingly broad. It could cause so many other rights to at least temporarily collapse. They would need to be re-argued with different arguments, as I understand it. This includes interracial marriage which I find kind of hilarious, because Thomas, who I believe wrote the majority wrote a concurring opinion thanks, you flaming 709, is in one. Homie I am not a woman and I'm terrified. I don't know how they just candidly repealed a long-held right women had, with so little resistance and fanfare. Roe v. Wade died with about as much resistance as a bullet through butter. Not just a bit, one might even say I'm very, very worried. It's terrible we have taken such a big step backwards. I'm a lesbian living in MO where the GOP are desperate to make the news on shit they're doing to harm trans kids and women. I made a joke to my best friend how I need to hurry and get a hysterectomy before there's a state ban on it. As well as getting married to a woman before the GOP tries to strike down the same-sex marriage law. I worry about this every day. I feel like if something as monumental as Roe could be overturned, after all these years, and after all this progress, nothing is truly off limits, sadly. I think things are going to escalate even harder honestly. Men want to hurt women. I remember the years of threats before they overturned Roe v. Wade. I cried and my husband told me I was worried over nothing. The day it was overturned I looked at my husband and said, do you believe me now? Was I just worried over nothing? He apologized, but the fact remains we will always be seen as worrying over nothing by those who have all the rights. As a woman who is also a member of the LGBT community hell yeah. If I still lived in Tennessee, I'd be terrified. Not even a woman here, and yes. Because the way fascism works, it doesn't stop when one group is eliminated or subjugated. A new group becomes the scapegoat. How long until they come after atheists like me? Some got politicians are already openly proclaiming only those who love God should have the right to vote. If you're unwilling to protect a group that does not contain a subset of yourself in it, eventually you'll be other yourself. How long you'll reckon before Republicans revisit is marital rape really rape? If a single judge can unravel FDA approval for mifepristone, what's stopping birth control from being next? Honestly I see that's where it escalates next. Yeah, the increase in fascist bills cropping up throughout the country worries me. The fact that my daughter will have less rights than I did worries me. The alt fort getting lost with no repercussions terrifies me. Even though I don't live in America I'm scared for the world overall, feels like we are headed down a dark path. 
it's even more sinister when you consider that women are basically slaves in many parts of the world. Yep. I really want my tubes removed but have no insurance. Edit earned the beloved Reddit Cares message. Don't see how that does anything of significance but thanks I guess. There's a way to report it for abuse. Please do so. It reminds me of the Tupac song Ghetto Godpel. He has a line, cause any day they'll push the button and all come in like Malcolm X or Bobby Hutton died for nothing. I'm 99 sure he was talking about the progress made for black rights. They're coming for women, LGBT, next it'll be POC. They can reverse it. We have to be scared and stronger. We really need to start being like conservatives, loud and angry. I'm still puzzled why nurses don't walk out of every hospital, teachers walk out of every school, and bank tellers walk out of every bank in solidarity. Like yeah, we know some women are Republican, but most aren't. Then when they do protest, it's on the weekend. What? Protest on a Monday, when it will have actual impact. If you don't believe protests work, read up on how successful protests did theirs. Of course. I don't see how conservatives in the US can't see that taking away women's rights is leading us on a path toward a Middle East-like existence, I know some of them probably want that, but I'm sure most don't. But it's a slippery slope. I have no idea why every woman with a male spouse isn't having this conversation with them to ensure they are supporting women's rights. Spouses. Moms and sons, cousins, friends. Every woman should be asking the men in their lives to ensure they are supporting them in this. I mean, Florida, Texas, and other states are already speedrunning fascism to target trans people. Dotton have a goal of eroding overturning Obergefell v. Hodges in their sights. And Mississippi is ramping up Jim Crow 2.0. And conservatives are trying to legalize stealing children from indigenous people. I think this community, and feminism more broadly, should look to the suffragettes on how best to win and secure rights. The current white, liberal, model of civil, peaceful protest and electoral politics is not working. The suffragettes were not uncomplicated heroes but they knew what it took to uproot patriarchal power it wasn't tweeting about it. Direct action now. Solidarity forever. Yep. That's actually one of the reasons why I just moved only a couple hours away from the Canadian border. Also, I'm looking into getting my Canadian citizenship finally dad was Canadian by birth. Men should be afraid too. This sets dangerous precedent for government intervening directly in people's private medical treatments. This point shouldn't even need to be made but a lot of people only care if the law affects them directly. As a very queer NB who already can't afford therapy, I'm basically constantly shitting myself because Arizona might follow Florida into insanity, and then it won't matter what kind of hormones I decide on, I still won't be able to get them. Yes and I live in the bubbling hellhole of it all Florida. I'm honestly just glad I was able to get my salpingectomy at the beginning of the month and that I never had kids. They won't have to be victim to this place. It's not just Florida of course. It's spreading like a fungus. We have to vote out all conservative scumbags. I rely on birth control to prevent my periods from being too heavy, and it prevents me from possibly bleeding to death. I'm terrified they're going to outlaw birth control. I live in a red state, and I'm in the middle of grad school. But if my state did that, I would have to leave or risk infertility death. And everyone who I express this fear to says that I'm being extreme. But they also said that about Roe. In 1997 I was given free life insurance through my employer, and given a serious warning that making my mom my beneficiary without notifying my non-existent husband was illegal. It was the first time I realized women are treated like pieces of property in this country. The men in my life can't figure out what it is I'm so utterly pissed off about. Don't worry. All of the conservative traditional evangelical Christian straight CIS white men over 65 years old have our best interests at heart. S. Every damn day.